liking because it is super dramatic however me being me I wanted to switch it up so I did like the double wing graphic liner with loads of glitter and a cut crease and I did mention a little while ago that I wanted to start incorporating more creative looks into my channel so I really did get my creative juices flowing today and yeah I really really love the way this look turned out but let's be fair this is not the type of makeup look that you want to go down the shops with or anything like that however you might still want to wear this for like a special occasion or all the parties that are coming up throughout this season so I really wanted to pull something out of the bag that I think that you guys would love and this eye makeup look is a proper showstopper I really do believe that people are going to be coming up to you and saying where's your makeup from who done your makeup and you can just say well that girl on YouTube Laura Somerville go and check her channel out because she's amazing so I really really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial if you're interested and find out how I did this and just keep watching Right guys, so let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to be taking my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm just going to be using that to prime my eyelids as per usual because we are going to be placing a lot of eyeshadows onto the lid today. So I just wanted to make sure we've got a nice, clean, flawless canvas to work with and also to make sure the eyeshadow doesn't crease because we are going to be using some glitter. And then I'm going to be taking some tape and I'm just going to be angling that up, up towards the eyebrow just so we can create a really nice sharp line while we're blending out all the eyeshadows. Now I'm going to be going in with a transitional shade and this one is by MAC in the colour Hawks and it's a really sort of nice mauvey sort of purpley brown shade so it's going to work really well with those purpley tones we're going to be putting on. So I'm just going to be buffing that out into the crease to act as a transition shade. So now going in with a shade by MAC and this is in the colour Nocturne L which is a really beautiful sort of deep plum shade and with my MAC 217 brush I'm just going to be buffing that out into the outer half of my eye so a little bit onto my crease and also a little bit onto the lid as well and I just really wanted to create a sort of like a nice purpley sort of cat eye look with this. So now I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Shadow Box and taking the colour Flash which is this really beautiful lilac-y purple colour and I'm going to be placing that directly onto that plum shade and it's just going to kind of mute down the purple slightly so it's not too vibrant. So now going back into the Urban Decay Shadow Box and picking up the black shade, I'm going to be going in with this really detailed brush and I'm going to be sort of carving out the cut crease look that we've got going on. So I'm just going to be placing that onto the crease and also a little bit on the outer V as well. And then once I've done that, I'm going to be taking the MAC 217 brush that we blended out with the eyeshadows earlier and I'm just going to be blending out that so it's not too harsh uh, because I really wanted to sort the cut crease to be nice and smoky today. So just keep on blending, adding a little bit more black and then blending it through with the purple until you create the desired effect. So now once the blending process is done I'm going to be removing that sellotape and then I'm going to go in with this eye candy glitter in the colour Tiny Tart which is this really beautiful purpley shade. It's almost got flecks of red and copper in it so it's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to be putting that all over the lid. So it did take a little bit of time just to build up the intensity but I did use the glue that came with it and I just sort of packed that onto the brush before I started applying the glitter and it just took about two or three times just to really build it up so it was nice and opaque. So now I'm just going to be taking a makeup remover wipe and just wiping away any excess fallout that we might have had from the glitter. And then I'm going to be going in and creating a wing. So I'm just going to be taking my gel inglot liner and I'm just going to be using a really tiny detailed liner brush for this because we are going to be doing quite a precise winged eyeliner. So first of all I'm going to be starting off by keeping it quite close to the lower lash line and extending the wing and making it thicker on the outer half and thinner on the inner half. And I just think this suits my eye shape a little bit more but you do what suits you. 
do. So then after that I'm going to be taking the liner brush again and I'm just going to be sort of drawing out the double wing and tracing over the cut crease that we put on earlier. So it did take a little bit of time just to build up the intensity. So start just grabbing a little bit of product and just building it up slowly and gradually just so you don't go on with too much product at once because sometimes it can start sticking to the lid and then it can create a big old mess that you've got to clear up. So after that I did go in with a tiny detail brush that I used earlier and with a little bit of that black shadow I'm just going to be buffing away the edges just so it's not a harsh cut crease and more of a smoky look. So then after that, just to complete off the eye shadows, I'm just going to be taking the purple shade and I'm just going to be going above that black and really sort of blending the two colours together. So now I'm just going to be adding some false lashes and a coat of mascara and then I'm going to be going in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm just going to be using that to prime my face. And then for foundation today I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal True Match and with my good old trusted beauty blender I'm going to be blending that out into the skin. So now going in with the concealer, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay and Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just going to be placing that kind of like a triangle shape underneath the eyes and then blending it out again. And then to set that in place, I'm going to be taking my Collection 2000 Sheer Loose Powder and I'm just going to be packing that quite heavily underneath the eyes just to bake it in place. And while that's cooking or baking away, or whatever we want to call it, I'm just going to be going in and sorting out my eyebrows. So after I did that, I then started with a little bit of contouring. So the the contour shade that I'm going to be using today is by Hourglass in the Ambient Light and Palette and I'm just going to be taking a darker shade there and I'm just going to be using that just to put the contours of my face. So a little bit in the hollows of my cheekbones, around my jawline and also around my hairline too. So now to add a little bit of blush, I'm going to be taking this one by NYX and this is in the colour Chiffon and with my Real Techniques Duo Fibre Blending Brush, I'm just going to be putting that onto the apples of the cheeks. And then to illuminate my face a little bit, I'm going to be taking the Mary Luminizer by the Balm, putting that on the high points of the cheekbones, my nose and also my cupid's bow. And now to complete the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the colour Flash from the Urban Decay Shadow Box Palette and with my MAC Pencil Brush, I'm just going to be buffing that out underneath the eyes and also dragging a little bit of that colour underneath the wing as well, just so we've got a really nice sort of gradient of colour there. So now going in with this flat to finer brush also by MAC and with the black in the palette I'm just going to be using that on the lower lash line and I'm going to be going over the wings as well just so we've got a really nice sort of smoky look and just to make them even more dramatic. Now I'm just going to be taking this NARS eyeliner in the colour Via Benito and I'm just going to be placing that on the lower lash line as well just to really smoke out the look. And then I just added a coat of mascara and I was done with the eyes. So now onto the lips, I'm going to be taking this MAC liner in the colour Strip Down and I'm just going to be lining my lips with this and I didn't want to go in with a strong colour because I didn't want to take away any of the focus that we've got going on in the eye. So I wanted to keep the lips really nice and nude today. So after that I did go in with a MAC lipstick in the colour Honey Love which is this really gorgeous sort of pinky nude shade and I'm just going to be putting that all over and topping it off with a little bit of this Naked Gloss in the colour Nuna. And that completes the look. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like this video. And if you're new to my channel, then please click that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.